It's like, arguably, I think to a lot of people, that's like the most classic, seldom seen song of all. That that's certainly the one that gets requested the most, and it it always has been the one that got requested the most. Um, so you know, when I started playing with them when I was 15, just like sitting in on a song or two, um, I always sat in on "Wait a Minute." It's just it's this really it's such a beautiful kind of heartfelt song, and it's it's really wide open, and it's it's such a sensitive song Wait a minute 
Did he hear you say you're going far away again? Try to change it, can't take the lonely nights without your love. on some of the things <laughs> and he would rather eat a bucket of bugs. <laughs> I don't know if he's electric bass, but he did it and he did a great job. 
Um, <laughs> uh, I still don't like our studio recording of Wait a Minute because I was playing that darn bass guitar. Oh, and, and, and you were playing a bass position. guitar on Wait a Minute? Yeah. I'd forgotten about yeah. that. I can remember when we recorded it, I'd just been in the hospital with the flu and I was just uh, getting out and I, I was, my voice was not really what it, quite sh what it should have been. And John Duffy insisted we do that in B. And I said, yeah. I was that big And he wanted to do it there so his tenor would sound better. <laughs> For me, it's, you know, it's always a, it's, it was always a fun one to try and, try and be expressive on which is not something you get to do too much in bluegrass. But that's one of the interesting things about the seldom scene, I think, and, and one thing that they really, uh, a big part of their legacy, what they brought to the music, is, is they, they played a lot of songs, like, tenderly. Yeah, I guess tenderness is, is really the word. They, they had all this other more contemporary repertoire, but, but that's one thing that they brought to the table that uh, I think was really influential and, and beautiful.